I've heard a lot of noise about robots taking over the world. At the same time, it's said that children are our future. Which one of those is true? I suspect it's somewhere in the middle, but luckily, I'm conveniently set up to be able to actually test this. Welcome to the first episode of hopefully many of Robots vs. Children, where we actually put it to the test and pit kids against robots to see who's going to come out on top. The first thing we're going to test is dexterity and hand-eye coordination. And we're going to do that with this tiny little Lego unicorn. It has a whole bunch of different pieces on it that are really small. They all have different shapes, some have curves, some are just flat. Children have really tiny little fingers, so I think that may help out their team. But at the same time, robots have collaborative grippers and force torque sensors. So hopefully, it'll be a really good contest to see who actually wins. Here's how this works. Once a competition is announced, the teams have 24 hours to prepare before the bout. Since there are a bunch of different skills to test, this is gonna be multiple videos. So make sure you subscribe so you get notified as this series progresses. First up is Team Children. The captain here is Barbara, very experienced wrangling small humans. And the competitor for this bout is Maddie. Madeline is training hard. This is Maddie preparing her special move, the Tongue of Concentration. Why do you think you're going to win? Because I'm free and a free old can build faster than Herman. Why is Herman slower than you are? Because he doesn't have fingers like us. Have you been doing lots of practicing? Five practicing. Herman's got some good competition. Go Team Children. Proper fuel and relaxation is essential to any athlete. Do you think Maddie is ready for the competition? Uh, she's been practicing really hard. What kind of challenges do you think your team's gonna run into on game day? Well, cause she's only like three and a half, um, she gets distracted really easily. So that's something we'll have to pay attention to on competition day and like I said, there's a lot of some small pieces, like the horn, that's like the last piece, and it's really hard for her to get it into the hole, so we'll have to keep practicing that. Every coach has a favorite player. Which one of these two is your favorite? No comment. Next up, Team Robots. Team Captain Dave, been in robotics for years. Today's competitor is Herman, a UR3. Looks like some pretty tedious manual programming using that collaborative gripper to make sure that everything's seated properly. Look at that focus. Do you have some sort of an ace up your sleeve that you think will help you win? Most of it's manual programming, so there's not really a ton of software that I need to do. But the biggest thing that I think are really gonna give me the edge in this competition is this gripper and the force torque sensor. The gripper's collaborative, so I can control exactly how much it opens and closes, how fast and what kind of speed it opens and closes with. I've also 3D printed some custom fingertips on here just to make sure that I can grab these teeny tiny little pieces. And then the force torque sensor is a better way for the arm to actually feel what it's doing. So as it's putting pieces together, it can measure if they've gone together, if it missed, it can slide until it hits things. So I think that's kind of going to give me the edge in this competition. Do you have any areas that you're worried about with Herman? The biggest thing is just that these pieces are super, super tiny, but also have a really tight tolerance. So if there's any sort of inaccuracy in the system with how they're fixtured or how they fit together or how the gripper picked them up, it'll completely screw everything up. So I really hope that I can keep this accurate and consistent, which again, the gripper and the force torque are kind of the keys to making that happen. Combatants ready, three, two, one, fight. Herman's off to a slow start. But quickly recovers with his first piece. Looks like Madeline's getting bogged down, getting distracted. She needs to focus if she's gonna catch up.
That lack of focus is really hurting her. She just dropped a piece. Recovered by getting her first piece on just as Herman gets his fourth. Using the force torque sensor to make sure that the pieces are all seated together. A little bit of strain putting that piece in, but Maddie finally got piece number two. Looks like Herman is starting a sub-assembly of just the head. When doing robotic assembly, sometimes the order needs to be modified to work with the hardware that you have. Looks like Maddie's finally getting a little bit of rhythm going. She's got part of the mane and tail done and the back, she's now moved on to the head. Herman's finally done his sub-assembly, placing the whole head on the body. That's a big jump in progress for Herman. With each competitor using a different assembly order, it's hard to tell who's ahead. Maddie's down to only three pieces left. One piece left for Herman. Maddie's making a mad dash. He's down to the wire at the end here, folks. Maddie has one piece left. Herman has one piece left. They're both done. That was too close to call. We'll have to go to the cams. Right down to the wire and Herman gets it by a fraction of a second. Maddie is still very proud of what she's done though. I'm really happy, but not super surprised that we won. It was definitely closer than I thought it was gonna be though. So that was pretty tight at the end. All of it was manual programming, which I am now reminded how much I hate. Luckily the force torque and the gripper have a special program right on the controller that makes it a little bit easier to do, saves you a little bit of time, but manual programming still sucks. Hopefully for future competitions, we'll be able to leverage things like deep learning, machine vision, that kind of stuff. Well, robots have snagged their first point, but I don't know how much longer this is gonna last. If you have any other applications that you think that kids or robots can do better, put that down in the comment section and we'll see about adding it to a future competition. Also make sure to subscribe so when those new competitions come out, you get notified about it. Robots are awesome, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.